I just wanted to stop by for a quick video um, and I wanted to make an exciting announcement. Meryl has decided to join me as well. My name is Judy and this is the Autumn Acorn Knits, but I am not here to do a regular podcast. Instead, I am here to tell you that <laughs> the Magic Heel Socks knitting pattern is going to be released today. So by the time I upload this video, because today is Saturday and tomorrow, Sunday, November 1st, I am going to be releasing the pattern. Um, so I just want to let you guys know and I wanted to show you a couple of other pairs that I've been knitting um, just to catch you up since the last time we talked. And I also want to let you know about the knit along and just remind you to join the Facebook group, um, join the Autumn Acorn. When you get there, you may find two groups. One is the Autumn Acorn, one is the Autumn Acorn Knits, but I'd like you to join the Autumn Acorn because that's where the um, knit along will be for the socks. And just a reminder that starts on November 7th and runs until uh, December 30th and the prizes are already starting to come in so thank you to anyone who's offered to donate a prize to the um, to the Cal. I'm really excited that there's going to be such great prizes prize packages because I want there to be at least three winners so um, yeah join the Cal introduce yourself and um, buy the pattern and you have a discount code as well. I wanted to tell you about that too. So let's start with, um, you've already seen the very first original pair of Magic Heel socks. Here they are again, just to remind you, the simplest socks in the world to knit. Um, with it's it's like a cross between a tube sock and a traditional heel sock but there's no turning of the heel and uh, no no turning of the heel and gusset so it's really very very stress-free I mean so stress-free that I can't stop knitting socks now um, this is my second pair and these were knit in really beautiful yarn by once upon a corgi Love this yarn. This yarn was a gift by Angela. And the only problem is one of these socks is not like the other. It's shorter. So I have to re-knit uh, one sock. But luckily I do have plenty of yarn to do that because, you know, they're not really tall socks. So this is how much I have left of this beautiful yarn by Once Upon a Corgi. So that was, um, I have, so my second pair were done with a set of minis that I dyed, but I only have one sock, one and a half socks. Meryl's gonna have to get down. I just can't do this today. <laughs> She's so, it's hot. Um, I'm wearing, I should take this off now, it's warm. I'm wearing my Honeybees shawl, um, the fingering weight version. I have been wearing this pretty much all weekend because it's just it's so cozy and this yarn it's some of my favorite favorite yarn oh that's way better now you could tell the actual color but this is the perfect size to just throw on um quickly all right and then Meryl's sitting on the so that would be the first second third fourth this is the fourth magic heel sock that I have knit and this one flew off the needles in about two days believe it or not um, and for this I used a crazy Zauber ball which is by the company called Chappelle in Germany and what they do is oh here's the tag they have a black kitty like Meryl for their logo which I love so what they do is and there's 420 meters or 100 grams per ball this color is called is called actually it's in german um blasser shimmer and i looked it up and it means pale shimmer 
And what they do is they take, this is a two ply, and it's just so beautiful and complex, and it just keeps changing and changing and makes a self-striping, almost a watercolor effect color effect. But what they do is they individually dye each strand and then they ply them together and you end up with such a strong sock. I have a pair of traditional heel socks. Um, these are my first really successful pair and these were also knit with a crazy zo zo zober ball. Um, these hung up on my wall for a year before I'd wear them. But this yarn, and I now wear the heck out of these things, like I throw them in the wash and the dryer now all the time. And they look, they look like brand new to me. They really, really do. They look fantastic. So I'm super thrilled with this yarn. And I was on Etsy looking at it the other day because I, uh, Joe would like a pair. They have a lot of nice colors for men too. And, um, you can get it for like $17, which isn't bad because like I said, these things end up being a workhorse. So I highly recommend this yarn. Um, and I just wanted to show you that you can do this pattern, you know, not just um, with scrap yarn or minis and do the striping pattern, but you can just do it uh, with a self-striping yarn or even a solid yarn. Uh, or variegated yarn like I did with these and you can Meryl is moving the camera hey Meryl can you stop that please hey hey no thank you that's not helpful <laughs> you're so cute though um so I just want to show you the different ways that you can knit um this this sock. I put all of the finishing touches on the pattern today. Um, I did make some changes to the heel. Uh, I did make it wider because I thought it would be even even better that way and, I, and I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the fit. So, so the pattern is is being released or has already been released today. You can find it on my Ravelry site, on my website, or on my Etsy shop. Um, don't forget to join the uh, knit along and I have a coupon code for anyone who is joining the knit along. So um, please use coupon code. It is magic heel 20. No, is it magic heel 25? Yes. And you can get 25% off. That is only for uh, Ravelry and my, I'm so sorry about the camera. Meryl just jumped down, so we should be okay. The coupon code is only for Ravelry and my web shop, not for Etsy. Their fees are pretty high, so. Um, I tried to keep it affordable, uh, but if you're having trouble affording it, just reach out to me, let me know. And I think that's everything I wanted to tell you. I hope you're as excited as I am. And um, yeah, I really, I got some really awesome feedback from my testers. And I mean, I teared up when I read it, but they were so happy with the fit and just the fact that now they feel like they're sock knitters and successful at it and not stressed it's opened up the world of sock knitting to me. I can't even tell you how excited I am because um, I've got some sock yarn back there that I need to use and now now I can, so I can't stop. Um, I'll put the sock on just in case you've missed any prior episodes on the sock. I will put it on for you and I will show you the wonder of this sock. The fit is fantastic. I, it's super hard to show. Um, yeah, it's just, it's tough. It's tough to show it on a podcast, show a sock. But um, that is everything I wanted to say. And uh, I'll see you next time for, I'll definitely have a video to kick off the knit along on November 7th. And then I will also be planning, or I am planning a podcast episode 
And I think that's everything that I wanted to tell you. The socks are knit. The pattern calls for US 1 2.25 uh, millimeter needles. Uh, these high high sharps are horrible. They have given me such a sore finger. I've been wearing a band-aid the whole time that I'm knitting socks because while yes, they're really probably great for lace and I thought they would make sock knitting even faster, they just hurt. So no more, no more high high sharps for me. Um, all right, I will talk to you soon. Bye everyone.